Hello! In today's video I'm drawing Inktoberken. The theme of one of the Inktober days was Umbrella and I decided to draw my original character. You can see I have an old version of her as a reference here. At the start of the video you can see dirty, messy sketches. I didn't know how to compose the piece, so I was browsing ideas. Like, this is a tsundere girl, so she's like very shy and also jealous and she tends to be very protective of her feelings and at first I wanted her to say like I don't need you stupid present and like she put it near the trash can not inside just near so it's still clean so her romantic interest would see that and think that she doesn't care and and when they leave, she would secretly pick it up. But then I added a cat in the picture and the girl, she's like... She wanted to take the cat home to give her some food and shelter, but she got disturbed by the viewer and she... She didn't like that because it was her vulnerable moment, so she's unhappy to see the viewer, so she's looking angry at him or her and whoever this person is, but it's, it's probably us. I've started to add ambient occlusion shadows to give more volume to the character, but then I decided I will only leave cast shadows because otherwise I won't make it till Monday and it will take more time. But maybe on the week I will get back to it and make her more more 3, 3D and I don't know, maybe I get rid of the lines as well. Oh, and this umbrella girl, she doesn't have a name yet, so if you feel creative, don't hesitate to be involved and throw some name suggestions at the comments below. And when I draw this, I made this blue circle to add some contrast and when I added the cat, I realized that with the cat, a big circle and the girl that has two ponytails, it kind of reminds, at least it reminds me, the Sailor Moon fan arts now, but I'm fine with that. I love Sailor Moon and it's one of my favorite animes. And also this umbrella hat. I had one of those when I was small and I think our neighbors got it for me, but I was too embarrassed to wear it and I was like, nah, people will laugh at me. But now I think it kind of looks cute and adorable. So I guess that's it for today. I used just standard Krita brushes, big soft brush and just just round brush with opacity change and maybe some smudge brushes. I also used pencil for sketching and a brush from Jackpack Bundle for line art. I think I mentioned it before in a previous video. It's a free bundle and it has very good brushes. And I also wanted to say thank you to the people who left nice comments after my previous video. Thank you very much for your attention and that you found time to say something nice to me. It's very encouraging and it gives me energy to, to keep up going and don't doubt myself. Thank you. And hopefully see you next time. Bye.